dtif.acaro.edu.au is the discussion site for members of the Digital Technologies in Focus project, and that's you. Our research has shown that learning is accelerated greatly when it takes place as part of a community. So let's learn how we can share and learn. When you first connect to this site, you'll be asked to log on if you haven't done so before, and then you'll see this. Now, if you have a big blue banner on top, just dismiss it by clicking the X in the top right hand side. You don't really need it, but it doesn't matter if you want to leave it there. All of our discussions are organized into categories and you'll see them on the left hand side. Now you can get back to this page at any time just by clicking on the blue Acara logo at the top left of your screen. So let's have a look at uh, pedagogy. Now pedagogy itself is going to contain all the articles that fit that category. And when we go into there, we will be able to see, in fact, we can see it here, that Pedagogy has four articles, look to the right-hand side of the screen, and one of which is new since you last visited. So if you're interested in that area, then it's a matter of popping in and having a look and seeing what's available. So the importance of play is the new one. And this is an article posted by Martin, and it's got some resources attached. So lots of great articles here. As an example, here's a great article, blah, 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 blah. Now, it's really easy to reply to this. You just click the reply button down the bottom. You can bookmark this if you want to come back, and the rest of them are fairly obvious, I suppose. Flag to remind you to look at it later on if you haven't got time to look at it now. But replying just means that you can chip in with your own ideas, questions or examples to share with others to help this learning community. If you just want to see the latest posts, then there's a thing for that as well. Once you've clicked on the blue Acara logo to take yourself back to the opening screen, latest shows you the latest posts, if that's what you're interested in, how many people have looked at it and when the last activity was. If you want to have a look at the ones that you may have missed out on, unread, then you can click on unread. And likewise, we can click on top to see the ones which are most popular. Um, and that may well indicate um, something that you may be interested in as well. There's a thing there that says tags, and tags are really important. You can add them when you post, and they help organize posts in terms of things like year groups, or learning areas, or ideas. So for argument's sake, I want to look at the latest posts about multi-age learning environments. This is the way that I'd do it. I'd search for latest, I'd choose multi-age, and I'd pick up the article by Sarah, which is in the school projects. And if we open up that and have a look, there's a clear incitement, if you like, to do lots of discussion about how that's working. We have a lot of schools that are multi-age and multi-stage, and it's fantastic to share ideas that you've come up with at that particular point in time. Right up in the top right, you can click the magnifying glass. It's another way to search for posts that may be of interest to you, and you can search for anything. You can also do an advanced search here by clicking options. And you can see that there's lots of options available there. Things that you've liked in the past, you can go back to. Things that you have already read, etc., etc. So that's our discussion forum. Go for it. Share, read, discuss. Cheers.